Men should be completely exempt from child support alimony and should be allowed to completely opt out from any responsibility when impregnating a woman. I think I was just making a point and then the TTS. Which is why came in. neither should be legal. I don't think men should be completely exempt. Eh, completely exempt. I don't know. No, I think I'll say what the Dave Chappelle joke. If you can, I think that's where I got interrupted, right? I get the idea, but like, like again, what I said earlier. Um, if you can murder it, I can abandon it. But you're gonna you're gonna raise a society of fatherless children. Do we want that? And wait, this almost kind of goes back to like, what's the greater harm? Mm -hmm. I was with, thinking with that the <laughs> with the war that thing. I'm so sick of so this like, thing. what's the greater harm? Like the dad being not present or dead or responsible or the actual child being never I, having I been hope born that's I hope we would agree all, that killing just... a child is the worst possible outcome of you know what? based on my hold on i think what we should do is actually double down on this and i think that we should abort uh, you can't get an abortion <laughs> you can't get an abortion but men can, they can still do a paper abortion. Ooh. That's crazy. That's, 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 that's what like, it would be now. That, that's what, that's what's, fair, What's right? the logic behind that? Because that's what's happening but it's now not as men. bad. But I, no, but it's I, not as bad. But I think it's different because women have to carry the child. So they have to, it's like the, what, the violinist argument. Like if, if you were, you oh, had, God, you were stuck God. in a hospital for like nine months and someone was plugged into you, like stealing your nutrients, making you feel sick. You were throwing up every morning. You were losing your hair. You couldn't walk. Your body was changing. All of these I, things. I do have to move on. I'm okay. sorry. My bad. My, I'm sorry. Really, I brought up a good I argument. Really really I brought up a good that. argument. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, was, I was ready for that too. But. Clarification when there are. Okay, fine. Here, last, last back and forth on this. Yeah. Go ahead. Do you want to finish your... Well, just the violinist argument. I would say that's an argument people make that like, why abortion We're, is okay. Because like, if I was laying in a hospital bed and you were tied up to me, I, yeah, I'd kill you. Well, <laughs> <laughs> what if it was her? What about her? Would kill you, the baby. You're dead. I would. You're like, gone. You wouldn't do that for me, Julie? I thought we were homies. I'm so sorry. I no, thought we were homies. You're gone, Zoe. I got out of things Damn. going on. <laughs> I'm like a friend. Um, <laughs> so wait, the, the violinist argument is, can you state it? Yeah, so you're, you, uh, it's like, it's kind of like being pregnant where you're, obviously you're, when you're pregnant, you're not like stuck in a hospital bed, but it's the same kind of thing where you're plugged into someone and you have the choice uh, to kill them orally or let them for nine orally? months. Yeah, ki kill them early. Like, kill, kill Oh, I them. thought you said orally. I was sorry, like, I'm Canadian. <laughs> sorry, I have a crazy accent. That'd sorry. be kind of a dope <laughs> way. That'd be kind of a dope sorry. way to die. <laughs> sorry. Like you're just getting some some brain from a chick. And it's so good. You're just like, uh, heart attack. I just, I just have it. Bro, just, by the way, you like fucked your chest up, dude. Oh, Holy shit. I, sorry, Bro. I, have I have sensitive God skin. God damn, you like... I know I have scratching yourself up. I like just crazy. have sensitive skin. That's all. Anyways, <laughs> wait. Where's the violin in this whole thing? I, I don't know why the fuck. It's have you never heard it, the oh, violin? It's the greatest musician. I, I've heard of it. It's the greatest but, musician. They are, they're a violinist. Would you kill the greatest viol violinist it's, on it's earth? Kind of irrelevant. The yeah, violinist part. But yeah, okay. Yeah. Do but, you want me to? Yeah, okay, yeah. Go. Give your response and then we'll move on. Okay. Button. You can go, you can go. Okay. Okay. No, you're good. Just yeah, go. go um, so I think there's a lot of different arguments I can use to debunk that one. I'll just get into a few because I know mm -hmm. he's going to kill me if I keep talking about abortion. Um, so uh, number one, um, it's it's a parent-child relationship, which yes. is different than different. being 100%. tied up to someone. Uh, number two, an abortion isn't just unplugging yourself from someone. Mm -hmm. It's intentionally going and stabbing them and killing them. It's also very much more traumatic having an abortion than just unplugging. Right, I would exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. Um, but also, um, I, I get, it's very similar, but the organ donation, you're not forced to donate an organ to someone. Um, the uterus, I would argue, isn't even made for a woman. Like the entire purpose of a uterus is to s sustain mm -hmm. another human's life. Like there is no, like I honestly could, I could live life much easier without my uterus to be, to be real. It costs me a lot of pain. The entire point of it is to um, help another child. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I would say that's much different than, than using your entire body to uh, feel it, someone. Yeah, it's sick. just like the kind of the, sa the same effects as what the argument is. Like it would give you, like it makes you feel sick. You're like right. bedridden. You can't work, blah, blah, blah. Things like right. that. So I don't think a child depending on a, a mother to survive in a very natural way, like organ donation is unnatural our bodies are made i'm not saying every woman has to reproduce but our bodies are made to create children and because of that i think it's much different than being plugged up with someone and we shouldn't yeah. be killing child children just for being dependent on their mothers for survival i think end all be all uh if you don't want uh someone to be physically relying on you, you like that and you're not quite ready and except especially with like once you have a child you still have like 18 years after that where you have to take care of them if, if you're not ready for that i think it's i think it's totally fine if you want to have an abortion i have no you problem think, with that wait you, have, you think you should be able to have an abortion for any reason 
not specifically for any reason, but like if you're not ready, I think that's okay. So like if I'm not ready to take care of a two-year-old, can I kill them? I don't think a two-year-old is the same as a fetus. Why? A uh, two-year-old is living and breathing and they're like communicating with you. A fetus is, again, they're like attached to me in a way that I m- might not be okay with. Right, but like a newborn is dependent on their mother for survival. Like if you just set a newborn by itself, it can't just like go not get a mother, job. Though, any, I would, but the well, thing no, with the newborn, the thing with a newborn is someone else can take care of that newborn. Right. When that baby's in me, it's just me. So, so I'm a missionary kid. So I've spent a lot of time in third world countries where in mm-hmm. these villages there is no one who can adopt the child. There's no such thing as formula. Mm-hmm. Either the mother breastfeeds her child or the baby dies. Well, you can also get a like a milkmaid, someone who would breastfeed. In a third world you. country, that is Sign not a that is not a option and I'm, I'm talking about that that's situation. crazy you just said that that is insane what? now where can we get breast milk <laughs> sign me up <laughs> hold on let me let me listen i'm gonna i'm gonna do this conversation a favor here and uh move on here well yes so we, can talk about, we can talk about but, them being late for two hours but we can't talk about the leading cause of death <laughs> yeah pretty much yeah so Here's the solution, right? As the fucking based moderate on this panel, this is what you guys got to do. Put your fucking swords away. Join together. Coalition. Artificial womb. Just fucking do it. It solves the problem. They are working on that. Artificial womb. Now there's going to be some like other issues that are going to come because of it. But strictly, if we're, lo- if we're looking at the abortion issue in a vacuum... The woman can still not proceed with the pregnancy. You insert the fetus into the artificial womb. The child can still mm-hmm. live. The, you, you save the life. I know there's a lot. I know this is an overly simplistic thing. But why don't y'all throw all your money, bro, pro-choice, pro-life. Come together, son. Start investing some science shit. Artificial womb. What's well, I up? Have some, I have some issues with... I mean, it depends on how good these artificial I think also the artificial womb, like, I might have an issue as Let's well. Let's just assume, like, well, yeah, like the, baby, the baby, when it's growing inside, you kind of have that connection with it. And, Bro, like, it's, I feel a, like it's exactly. a middle ground. This is a compromise, It's son. an alternative you to get, abortion. We you don't get, compromise on killing babies. But it wouldn't be killed. It, it, be it would killed. survive. It right, would survive. No, no, but it's not going inside you the mother. It doesn't have the that pro, same type of warmth. You get what See, you want. you're like pro-life right now. Huh? Well, I'll argue any side just for fun. Yeah, so basically. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here, Maddie, read this. Clarification, when there are women who know what they're doing, taking abortion pills before the Supreme Court and boasting over their abortion, they should be held accountable. Women are not stupid. I think it still is like a cultural thing. Like I I think that even if they like know it's killing a baby, they like, it's still ingrained in them that it's their right. Women are like so brainwashed. Like I said earlier, this woman I had met, she like acknowledged that it was their three-year-old child, but she thought it was okay to kill them. And that's not a unique, Situation that's pretty common now where this idea of my child, my choice is not even my body anymore because it's hard to argue that a I think preborn child is thinking not. No, it's no, no, okay no, 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 Maddie, go ahead. <laughs> as long as abortion is legal, and we read this. We read oh, this we did? Okay, mm-hmm. I, uh, yeah. this, one, this one, my bad. Catholics need to chill over abortion. You guys are the ones that believe in a soul. Even people that have near-death experiences are told they can optimally reincarnate. Responding Reincar- to Say that <laughs> one more time, Madison. Sorry, sorry, I like... Reincarnate, yeah, responding in five seconds. Easy, bro. I am Go not a Catholic, so huh. I do not believe in reincarnation. River Reeves, thank you for the Australian 160, man. Thank you, appreciate it, dude. Uh, I don't know what's going on with the reincarnation down in Australia, but mm. son, cool, cool. Um, okay, 